Hi everyone, welcome back to the next video of this entire series where we are talking about SharePoint Online. In the last video, we learned how to manage advanced permission settings in SharePoint Online. We talked about creating groups and assigning permissions. We learned how to modify and remove permissions. And we learned how to manage access request settings in advanced permission settings. In this particular video, we are going to talk about permission levels in SharePoint Online. We will learn what are permission levels, how to create custom permission levels in SharePoint, and how to assign these permission levels to a user or to a group of users. So what are permission levels in SharePoint? In nutshell, permission levels are a set of permissions that decide what exactly a user can do within a SharePoint site. If you go to settings and we go to site permissions, advanced permission settings, you will find these permission levels on both team site and communication site. Now within advanced permission settings, click permission levels. Now here you can see these default permission levels that we can use to assign permissions within a SharePoint site. So if a user has full control permission level, he can do anything and everything within this particular site. Full control is basically the owner of the site. He can create pages, he can manage the permissions, he can delete the site and he can manage the recycle bin as well. And similarly, we have other permission levels that decide what exactly a user can do if a particular permission level is assigned to a user. But if I click on any permission level, it tells us what all permissions are assigned within this permission level. Under list permissions, we can see what a user can do with this permission within a site list or a document library. And then we have site permissions. It tells us that if a user has full control permission level, what sort of activities he can do on the site level. And then we have personal permissions like manage personal views, add or remove personal web parts and update personal web parts. Likewise, if I go back and if I click any other permission level, for example, edit, We can see most of the permissions are unchecked under this permission level. For example, a user who has edit permission level or a user who is part of site members group under this particular site, he can't approve items, he can't manage permissions, he can't create subsites. And like this, you can see the permissions, those are unchecked. This particular user who has added permission level, he can't perform these activities on this particular site. So these permission levels decide what exactly a user can do within a site. And these are the default permission levels that we can use to assign to the users. But you can come across a requirement that you want to assign a different level of permissions to a user. For example, if we look at the contribute permission, any user who has contribute permission level, he can add items within the list or document library. He can edit items, he can delete items, he can view the items, or he can delete the versions. On site level, he can browse directories, he can view pages. But let's assume my requirement is, I want to assign a permission level to a user where he can view the items, he can add the items as well, but he cannot update or he can't delete the items. Now, either I can modify this permission level, I can uncheck the permissions that I want to remove from contribute permission level, or I can create a new permission level with the required permissions. And the best way is, to create a new permission level instead of modifying the existing permission level. So to create a custom permission level, you will go to advanced permission settings. You will go to permission levels. 
and under permission levels you will click add a permission level under name you will type a name for this permission level that you're going to create for example i want to create a permission level for contributors but they will not have access to deletion to delete an item or to update an item and under description we will type a description for this permission level so that any site owner of this particular site is aware that what exactly this permission level is so let's add something like can view can add but can't update or can't delete items or documents and under list permissions we will give permission add items and view items and under site permissions we will add view pages it is already added and let's leave open as well that's it let's click create so now we have another permission level with name contribute with no deletion or update and under description it says can view can add but can't update or can't delete items or documents so any site owner can easily identify what exactly this permission level is there is another way to create a permission level where you can clone an existing permission level for example let's open contribute permission level scroll it down and click copy permission level now this will create a copy of contribute permission level we can see all the permissions here those are available within contribute permission level now if i want i can uncheck the permissions that i do not want to add within this permission level for example i want to uncheck delete items and delete versions and here we will give it a name for example contribute with no deletion and let's type same thing in description and click create so this way you can clone an existing permission level now let's see how to assign this permission level to a user or to a group of users let me open another tab and let's go to settings when it comes up site permissions advanced permission settings now the default site groups that we have here like site members site owners and site visitors you cannot assign custom permission levels to these groups or you can't change the permission level of these three site groups by default the site owners group will have full control permission level the site members will have edit permission level and site visitors will have read permission level so you can't change permission level for these three groups if you select any one of these groups for example site members at the top you see edit user permissions and remove user permissions is grayed out if i select site owners these two options are still grayed out if i select site visitors these are again grayed out however if i select this custom group contributors that we have created in one of the previous videos these two options edit user permissions and remove user permissions these are now accessible likewise if i select this user account these two options are accessible so if we want to modify the permission level of an existing group select the group and click edit user permissions so as of now this contributors group has contribute permission level but let's say I want to give read permission to this group and to all the users who are added within this group. So I can change the permission level from here. So select the permission level and click OK. 
and now this contributors group has read permission level similarly if i want to change the permission level for this user i'll select the user click edit user permissions and let's say i want to give him this permission level that we have created manually so i'll select the permission level and click ok so now this user has contribute with no deletion permission level now let's assume we want to create a group and we want to assign a custom permission level to that group so we will click create group and let's give it a name test same under description and no changes required here so here let's say i want to select this custom permission level contribute with no deletion or update so i'll select the permission level and click create so now we have let's go back so let me refresh so now we have this group with name test this group has contribute with no deletion or update permission level now if i want to add a user within this group i'll go to this group open the group click new and here i'll type the username select the user and click share now let's say i want to give permission to a user on this particular site and i want to assign this particular permission level to that particular user so i'll go to advanced permission settings and here i'll click grant permissions and let's say i want to add this user and we will click show options if we click drop down arrow we will see all the permission levels including the custom that we have just created so let's say i want to select this permission level i want to give this permission level to this user so i'll select the permission level and click share and let me refresh so now this user has this permission level now if i go to document library within the same site and if i go to settings library settings more library settings and here click permissions for this document library here we can see all the groups the default site groups and the custom groups that we have created on this site level and two users who are added on the site level like you can see here because this particular document library is inheriting the permissions from this site and if i go to a list for example i have this list within this site so let's go to settings list settings and here permissions for this list under list permissions we do not see the groups that we have on the site level or on the document library level because this particular list has unique permissions that means we have already broken the permission inheritance between the site and this particular list if i click here delete unique permissions we will talk about this in one of the next videos so this is just to break the inheritance or remove the inheritance so if i click delete unique permissions click ok so now we see all the groups and the users because now this list is also inheriting the permissions from this site now one thing that you should be aware of is the permission levels that we create in a particular sharepoint site these permission levels will not replicate to another sharepoint site that means the permission levels that we will create in a particular site will not reflect in other sharepoint site in your tenant for example in this particular site i have these permission levels and if i go to another site let's say this one this is also a team site so if i go to settings site permissions advanced permission settings 
click permission levels here we have only the default permission levels we do not see the permission levels that we have created on this particular site these two permission levels are not available within this site so the permission levels that you will create on a particular site will not reflect on another site if you want to create permission levels on another site you need to go to that site as a site owner or sharepoint admin or global admin and you need to create separate permission levels on another sharepoint site so this is how you can manage the permission levels in sharepoint online so that is all for today if you learned something new from this particular video please give it a thumbs up subscribe to our channel and if you have questions or suggestions feel free to write them in the comments below thanks for watching i'll see you in the next video